there's several places that are very well known when it comes to trout fishing in Oklahoma. Uh, Broken Bow and the Lower Mountain Fork is probably the most famous place in the state. It gets a massive amount of pressure. Blue River, however, is right up there. Now, we're right now below Ada, above Durant, and in an area that, frankly, not a lot of Oklahoma anglers fish compared to the number of people that come from, say, Louisiana and Texas. At least that's what we're told. You know, what's interesting about this water is it's a 141 mile long tributary of the Red River, the Red River, I'm sorry, and it's a place in Oklahoma that can handle pressure because they stock it over what we're told is a five to seven mile stretch. Oh, we got Man, these are, that's a big fish, Pat. Good one. Really good one. Now I gotta find my net. Your net's over by Big Mike. I gotta come down this way again. Oh, no. Right, did you sneak that in on me again? What's that? Is that your favorite bait? Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. You got me hooked on it. It ain't my, my gosh. fault. gosh. Okay, so. The cat's out of the bag, folks. Uh, we finished filming up by the falls, and Pat's like, can I just fish a little bit more, and I'm going to use what I want, and we're going to show it to you. Where'd it go? Where is that bait? It was there. Now, let me see this fish anyway. It's in its mouth. That's it's in its problem. mouth. Look at that. Peach fire egg. Turn it that way so oh. we can see him. Look at the size of this fish. Biggest fish of the day. Pat's going to try to use both hands so he can show you. And he's got small hands. He uses these hands for a lot of things. It also shows us how to make a... a how to show the whole side of the fish. So, Pat, let's just show it real quick. Uh, Settle down, buddy. Come on, buddy. I know he's from West Virginia, but he bought a he bought a license too. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful trout. So what do you do with this fire egg? You just well, throw it out there and let it sit? I throw it out and then I jig it a little bit. I just every so often take it, pop the top by uh. Yeah. So we're gonna oh. we're gonna show you guys how to put them on in a minute. Uh Fire eggs are neutrally buoyant, which neutrally buoyant means they don't sink, they don't float. They kind of just sit in the water column. They, they kind of float. Gosh, every time I try to get Big Mike, you get another one. I'm gonna outlaw these fire fire eggs on you, man. <laughs> you are crushing them. And then there. Look at that, another nice trout. Some view. They put some good fish in Blue River, I like this. I got hooked on these uh, fire eggs down in uh, North Carolina, Cherokee. My buddy Chris here whipped him out of his bag and said, hey, try one of these out. And I've been hooked ever since. I've been switching back and forth today with the peach, fire egg, and the orange. Garlic scented. I'm telling you, you gotta try these things. They are awesome. This is how, you, how we put them on. Just take one out, it pops right off. Take your hook. I got a number 12 fire hook. That's what it looks like. Look here. Just like that. One thing nice about these, you can use them over and over and more fish. I don't know, that egg right there will probably get me six fish. We're gonna try her out again and see. Got him again. And it was just like that. Pat, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> I got confidence in you now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you know where the net is, Mike? I don't even see. Oh, it's a nice fish. He might need that net. Pads in the house. Oh, that's a that's a thick fish. Look at that trout. Oh, Your Honor. Oh, I might my... get a picture with this one. Anything from my brother Pat. Thank you, brother Mike. Well, those Pennsylvania guys should have knocked that off your hook. Yep. Lost yeah, yeah, I know, you know. But them Pennsylvania guys been knocking us West Virginia boys today. Really nice trout. We Pat. got another one from West Virginia, baby. <laughs> Just beautiful. That's what you like. There he is. Big Mike. Oh, man. We're hooking him on the fireworm. Hey, so Big Mike has only been in this hole right here for, I, I, I don't know, five minutes, and he's already hooked two on the fireworm. They got off, but that's why they call it fishing. All right, how you doing today? You see, we caught a lot of fish. Uh, we got them on the fire eggs. We switched over to the fireworm. I hooked a few on the fireworms on an orange garlic scent. All I'm doing is taking one of these worms out of a pack, threading it on the hook like you would a rubber worm for bass fishing. Right down through the head. Just 
sliding it up over the top of the eye of the hook. Ah, just like that. And I take my weight and I slide it down to the bottom and I'm using it like a jig. And I'm just constantly twitching it with a quarter of a reel. So it's flopping through the water. And they're loving it. All right. We've had three of these on. We've had three of these on. The net's right behind him. So he's got a cool, we've had three of these on. And now number four is about to come to the net. There it is, folks. The fireworm is on right now. Wow, what a great bite we got going here. Got him. Oof, garlic works every time, Big Mike. I think you taught me that. Look at these fish. Just some nice quality trout here in Oklahoma. Down one. Up one. That's a good one, Mike. A real good one. Hard fighter, too. Oh, he's chasing another one. Chasing him. Three fish, Pat. Get your get your uh, get your line and throw it over there. There's another fish coming in. Okay. Oh, Big Mike's got him in the net. All right. So this is this is about the average fish we've been catching today. Really nice fish, good fish, good looking colors. And he's gonna go back so you guys can catch him. I'm gonna use this uh, fire bait, garlic salmon egg under a float. You guys probably don't ever do this. A lot of guys bottom fish it. I just take a little ball of this. Ball that up, put it on the hook like you would normally do. I take one weight, I slide it down close to it. I space out another weight up the line, up to the fire float. So, I'm just floating it through the water level until the fish see it and they hit it. God, they're destroying that fire bait. I told Pat, you can't use the fire eggs anymore, you're catching too many of them. Chartreuse. He put on the chartreuse fire bait, Instant, instant, Pat, Pat. All right, take two. Take two. Chartreuse fire bait. Oh my God, already underneath the float. And he's going to hit it again. Patty's on again. I got him. He, like you him. might have had him the first time. He just didn't. Come on. Come you know, on, Mountaineer. You know, I'm not a float fisherman. I'm a bottom bag. Yeah, but. Big Mike has showed me the, the rules and the rags. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another good one for the Mountaineer. You know, my buddy Mike's been using garlic salmon egg, and I thought, you know, he's trying that. Let me try some of this chartreuse garlic. And uh, here's what. We're doing. We're just taking it, getting a little pinch of it, about like that. Rolling it in a little ball, placing it on the hook underneath of a float, and it's just fish after fish. And the garlic scent. You might you had one. Yeah, and the garlic scent is garlic. <laughs> Look at that. No, that's that's all you need, guys. We see people using gumball size pieces. Not necessary. That's all you need. Small just, hook. What, what size is that? 12? That's a 12 fire hook. That's a size 12 fire hook right there. Yep. And a small piece just like that. I mean, my gosh. Yeah. Mama wouldn't even believe this. Yeah, I mean, Mama would you not know, believe this if I didn't have it on film. You know, Chris, I've been going for two weeks yep. fishing and having a good time and missing my brother, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's not any funner than fishing with Big Mike from Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's it. And he's in a lot of trouble because you want to know why? He didn't say anything about missing his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shit, but I love you, honey. <laughs> All right, so we're now going to switch to the last bait that Big Mike is going to try. And it's salmon eggs. And guess what? They work everywhere in the world that there's trout, okay? This is all he's doing. Same exact thing, same exact setup. Look at that. We got a fish on there. But guys, this is it. A small egg, just like this. You take it. Matter of fact, Big Mike is probably gonna rebate right about now. You want these? 
Oh, you already got a, you got a, got one in your pocket? Yes, sir. He's got one in his pocket. So, simple as this, we're handed over to Big Mike. Botsky Premium Egg. How many eggs do you like to use? I'm, I'm a two egg guy. I like to cover up the hook nice if you don't see him. And make it more appetizing. You're gonna put, uh, what are you gonna put on? What egg are you gonna choose? Well, what do you got in your pocket? I don't know, let me see what I got. What do you got in your bag of tricks? My, my bag of tricks? Do you want me to use my real bag of tricks? No. Or do you want me to use my good bag of Let's tricks? Let's see what's in your pocket. Well, first Big all, Mike, hold on one second, please. We're gonna try to get a double. There's a premium. There's a premium. Oh no. You're gonna show the secret? Oh, what the hell. Just show it, okay. Look here. Watch what, watch what Pat does, okay? Listen, and just to be clear, I don't know anybody else on the planet that does this, but it works, okay? I take two eggs. It's like two eggs over easy. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a premium. Give me your rod, I'll hold it for you. Uh, it's under my arm. Okay, so people can see it, there we go. So I got me a, a couple premiums. Let me stick in back in my pocket. And I can't get this, it's hard to get for me because I'm in West Virginia, but a little fire corn, baby. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you about this corn. It lasts. You can get it out of a can. It's going tomorrow. This stuff will last for a while. And it's beautiful colors. And I just put it on like it. That's my favorite thing so to use. So this is his favorite thing to do. And I'm going to tell you guys one more time. Pat is a mountaineer. This is Big 12 country, so it might explain a lot to you. So he, Big Mike, has got just straight premium. You can see those in the air. And you see what Pat's got here with his combo. Now, Pat may be onto something. The reason, Pat, Mike's already down. Oh my gosh. The reason why Pat does this, he's gonna mend his line a little bit, is because when it comes to fishing, a lot of times with the eggs, you're gonna get hit right away like he's got hit. For some reason, look at these already getting played with right now. Let's see if we can get in there. Look at that. And there he is. Look at that. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding, folks. For some reason, when he does this, the corn never comes off unless he catches a fish like he's got right here. It's a nice fish. So it is a good fish. Mike. Let me uh, let me work over here with Big Mike and Mike. Oh, Mike was down. So for some reason, uh, Mike, you're down. Get him. Got him. Oh. So for some reason, I'm sorry. There's so much going on that it's hard to even. Where are you going, Pat? Come on, show everybody what's happening. The water. This is exactly the reason why Pat does that. <laughs> what always happens, even when the eggs are gone, the corn stays. The corn stays. And maybe Pat is a genius. We, we were driving by looking for a place to fish, and as we drove by this area, we looked outside the window and there were fish surfacing. And we said, uh, we better stop and fish right here. And sure enough, there were a lot of fish in this hole. Uh, a lot of fish all over the river. What we're told is when you're stocked every week, there's a ton of fish here. Now we spent a lot of time using different baits here to see what we can get them to bite. And we got them to bite pretty much on anything. Anything you presented properly to them with light line, by light line we mean four pound test, we were able to get them to commit to. Now Pat started off with the brand new orange and peach fire eggs. And you'll see him catch a ton of nice fish on those. And Big Mike used the orange fire worm. The guys caught plenty of fish with those, had a great time. And at that point, Big Mike wanted to try his favorite technique that he does home when he's in the Northeast. Big Mike is a trout fishing fool. He's been trout fishing longer than I've been alive. I think he goes every day of the year. And sure enough, he knows how to catch these trout. Now what he did is because he was catching releasing fish, he used a float, our brand new fire floats, and he used them so he could float the bait off the bottom. Now what Big Mike did with the fire bait is he used a fire float. He used garlic salmon egg fire bait, and basically, he used that size 12 fire hook and he put split shots right at the top of that. So what that would do is, everybody knows fire bait floats. He wants it to sink right under that float so it moves throughout the water column and the fish can come up and ambush that bait. He caught a ton with this method. You'll also see Pat use chartreuse garlic fire bait alongside. Both those guys caught a ton with this. Then they switched over to the premium eggs. All you guys know the red label eggs. It was almost too easy with those things. It was cast after cast after cast. What a phenomenal place to go. If you live anywhere in Oklahoma, this is a perfect weekend trip. It's a perfect day trip. It's a perfect option for you guys to enjoy 
a phenomenal fishery here in the state of Oklahoma that is, from what we're told, enjoyed by people from several states, all over Texas, all over Louisiana, you know, all over Oklahoma. People love this fishery. It's very well known. It's no secret to everybody. And fortunately, the state does a phenomenal job stocking it with boatloads and truckloads of trout that are there for your enjoyment. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. You know, my buddy uh, Mike over there, he likes the uh, shrimp garlic uh, peach. And uh, I Hold like... Hold on a second. Yeah. We don't have anything called shrimp garlic peach. Uh, my gosh. You need a pretzel. I need a pretzel. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs>